so firstly apologies for the fact I've not done a video in what seems forever um, I could come out with a load of excuses but to be completely honest it's just the fact that it gets really depressing it's depressing supporting West Ham we all know that um, but you know I feel so depressed by West Ham at the moment um, and I have done for quite a long time and it's bad enough watching it and seeing it all and then when you keep talking about it it gets worse and worse um, but obviously that's what my channel's about so I thought I'd actually better do a video um, there's been lots that's gone on since my last video obviously uh, the transfer window that ended yesterday um, we've had the protest um, which was really positive in my eyes um, and I was a bit concerned if I'm honest that we managed to get a couple of last minute uh, signings in um, not not criticising the signings but you know we when you're in a relegation scrap you have to be doing that right at the beginning of the window we didn't and I honestly think that they felt the pressure, uh, clearly they felt the pressure, you know, they're trying to now sue or get, a, they're complaining about the Sky Sports uh, Sunday supplement last week, it's pathetic. Um, so they felt the pressure, we've suddenly reacted, got some players in, um, Bowen we signed yesterday, so obviously didn't feature today, um, but I did think that people were going to suddenly be like, oh, you know, because we can be fickle as football fans. And I was concerned that people were going to suddenly be like, oh, it's all right, all is forgiven. Um, and a lot of that anger towards the board would sort of disappear slightly. I know lots of people like myself wouldn't, but I, I was concerned that the majority might start turning. Um, I'm really pleased that that wasn't the case. Um, and that's not anything to do with just results, it's everything. Because as we know, our club is a shambles from top to bottom. There isn't a single positive thing that I can think about when I talk about West Ham, other than the fans and the, how loyal they are. Other than that, the club is a mess. Um, so today, you'd say it's a must-win game. I feel like I've been saying it forever, but at the end of the day, we are in a, in a relegation battle and so are Brighton. So today was huge. It was a must-win three points. Was, it, a point wasn't good enough. And what do we do? Free one up and we throw it away to come away with a draw. Absolutely pathetic display. Um, first half, we were doing well. Um, it's good to see. I did think, is it that we were doing well or is it that Brighton are just that poor? Um, but no, I think we, we, we did all right. But then we came out the second half. It was almost like we were like, all right, we're two nil up. That's that. That mentality. What the hell? You know, Moyes is a winner and all this crap. Well, if that was the case, they would have come out and exactly that they'd have come out trying to kill that game off, and they didn't. So suddenly we find ourselves uh, two one down, uh, two one down, two one up. They've got one back. The game started to change, and then out of nowhere, really, Snodgrass fantastically taken goal. Obviously, it was deflected as his first one was, um, and we were three one up. And you thought, oh, this is it now. We we've got to hang on to this because it's a must win. And it was shocking, absolutely shocking. Um, now, fair enough, he might have wanted to take, Moyes might have wanted to take Antonio off. You know, he worked so hard and we know that he's injury prone and he comes back and then he's off again. Fair enough that you want to take Antonio off, even though I didn't want that to happen. But to bring on Arthur, it's, that is just the wrong mentality again. You know, it changed the whole game once he came on. Um, bring on four nails, bring on Lanzini. I mean, he loves Lanzini, but no, he did that really late. By that point, it was all Brighton. Um, and I felt massively relieved to, to come away with a draw. And that should never be the case. You know, you're free one up at home, hold on to it. You, the, if you look at the teams there as individuals, they should be good enough to hold on to it, but they're not. Because there's something fundamentally wrong with our club. Because that was just disgusting um, and now we are in the bottom three not on goal difference we are in the bottom three on points and I honestly don't know how anyone can feel confident in the slightest that we're going to stay up because I can't personally see that um, obviously there's a chance and but we're going to be massively relying on three teams being worse than us at the moment I, I'm not convinced that there are I'm really not um, you're not going to get much of an easier game than today. 
I know we've got a poor record against Brighton, but if you actually look at it in terms of the games that we're going to be playing coming up, that was the game. Three points, push yourself out of the relegation zone. Instead, we're there now. And it's really worrying times. And I, I honestly think this is going to go down to the wire. And if we manage to escape, it won't be anything to do with the board or Moyes. It'll be relying on other teams around us and hoping a few of the players like Rice, Bowen, um, Noble, you know, Snodgrass, those sorts of players, maybe hopefully having that right mentality that they're going to fight for everything because um, that's clearly not there now and uh, it's just nothing positive about West Ham in the slightest. Right, so quickly, while I'm thinking about it, a few of the incidents in the game. Um, Fabianski kind of half-hearted punch away straight into a Bonner frustrating but I can kind of forget that but the second goal of Bonner and Diop what the hell were they doing and I'm you know I've said that Bonner's probably been a contender for Hammer of the Year but what were they doing just someone boot that ball away do whatever you can but the uncertainty between the two of them and then Diop to then try and head it back to Fabianski and it was all too late and that was a joke in itself obviously uh Murray's equaliser um, first of all, I thought 100% that is a handball. I had no doubt. And then as you started watching it in slow-mo and from the different angle, I thought, not actually sure. And I, I actually, I don't, th I mean, it could have easily been, been given as a handball. We know those things probably would go against us, but I actually don't know if it was. So really, if it's not clear and obvious, then actually, it, you know, it's, it's a goal. So, yes, you can say that's frustrating and would it go, would it have gone for us? Who knows? But at the end of the day, you know, it's our fault. We should be putting ourselves in that position. We should have killed the game off long before that. And, um, you know, whatever you think, whatever you think about VAR, you know, I'm not a fan. But I don't think that can be blamed. And if Moyes just start coming out blaming that as the reason we lost, then that's pathetic. Um, also, I've just got to mention Ale because when he first came, even in the Man City game that we lost 5-0, I think, I saw signs of what a good player he was, or is. Um, his hold-up play, looked he just looked fantastic, and I thought that's a player we'd be missing. I don't know what's happened, but something's not right with him, because he is a waste of space at the moment on that pitch. Um, he does nothing. He looks lazy, he looks like he's frustrated, he doesn't care. And again, we're going back to that mentality and they're not the sort of players that we need. We need players that put everything on the line and he isn't. He just looks like he can't be bothered. He looks like he's thinking, why have I come here? Hopefully I'll get a move somewhere else if we get relegated. Um, and that is what the players think because there's, obviously there apparently the talks stalled yesterday with Bowen apparently because he didn't want the 50% uh, drop in wages if we're to be relegated. Now, to be fair to him, when I mean, he's joining right now, don't blame him. But apparently it's in anyone else's contracts. But I was surprised by that at first. And then you think, why? Because at the end of the day, they don't care, do they? Because they won't, they're not thinking, oh, I'll sit around in the championship taking 50% pay, pay cut. No, I'll just move on. And if they don't sell me, then I'll just kick up a fuss and I'll refuse to play. Or, I, you know, Arnie did it, Payet did it. And this is the problem. We're going back down to problems of football in this current day and age. And um, someone like Ale is probably exactly like that. He thinks, oh, well, if we get relegated, I'll go somewhere else. And he, and he will. Um, so, you know, I, I said, what did I say? Depressive. But it, this is a depressing video because there is nothing to be cheerful about supporting West Ham. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and follow me on Twitter at Flub9. Come on your minds.